Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Through Night's got an upgrade. This is the TC20 Pro. It's a solid little light, utility light, nice and bright, 3300 lumens roughly on its max. Um, but check this out. It's using a, right there, a 26650 5000 milliamp battery. Now this looks a lot like an old D battery. Ds were a little little bit bigger in diameter, a little shorter in length, but it has that feel that, you know, I think has been developed over, gosh, a century. Um, and that's, that's a, a nice, solid, you know, thick handle, very reminiscent to what many of us remember. Here's a mag light, you know, Ontario, California, that's where it was made, USA, um, uses, in this case, without the glare, an old school incandescent. This is a 3D cell, but there was just something about that diameter. And Through Night has made a solid utility light. Now this has a 3300 lumen max. I'm rounding here. It's actually, you know, down to the individual lumen, but close enough. 3300s um, is its max, which is blinding. Um, and then it throttles down after a couple of minutes down to 1500. So 1500 is it like its main top speed. Can go higher in overdrive. Um, and you're looking at around two hours there. Uh, I can drop it down to 250. You can see it cycle through here. So in its lowest setting, uh, this is 30 lumens and this runs around 90 hours. I mean, that's a long time for a 30 lumen light. Um, if I fire it up, this is 250. I can get about 10 hours at this speed. I can get, fire it up, there we go. This is 1500 lumens. For some reason it's not focusing, there we go. This with the spot, you can also see it's a good, good both spread and distance. We'll go outside and take a look at what this is like in the dark. But anyway, I can get about two hours runtime there. And of course, if I go to the full turbo, um, the, the brightest, I can get about that same two hours, etc. you know, close enough, I'm rounding, um, because it'll throttle down. Um, if I run this at its, if I hold this uh, button in, you can see it turns on, that is half a lumen, and that'll run for about, <laughs> rounding again, two months of half a lumen light. It's just because of that giant cell, which again, just is so reminiscent to that D-cell battery. Of course, these things were really low lumen, very heavy, low run time, expensive, you know, because you had to replace, in this case, this is a three. So, you know, those, a lot of people had the twos, which was a great design, but the three was even better. And they had four, I think they had five, which was just a, I don't know, a tank barrel. I mean, they're just crazy, but I really like that they, that, that Through Night made this. Um, it's an IPX8 rating, just a solid, um, simple flashlight that produces a lot of light with a long run time. Um, it uses a Cree HP, uh, 70 emitter on the side. If you look at that, that is just a beast. Um, and this is glass, heavy duty, black anodized, good cooling. Um, so anyway, the Through Night, what the best part, Through Night TC 20 Pro, it's highly affordable. Um, I'm not sure what the exact price is going to be or is right now on this thing, but um, it's, it's not a lot compared to many of the uh, real powerful lights. This is just a workhorse. Definitely something to take a look at. Let's head outside and see what it does. So here we are in the dark. So I've turned this on at the lowest setting, a little one lumen, half lumen, and I have to be really close. So you can see I'm up against a tree trunk and you have to do that in order to, you know, get enough light to reflect off. This is the 30 lumen. At 30 lumens, the spot or the the kind of the throw of this thing is more apparent than the spread or than the flooding um, of the light in uh, in the area. But that's that's actually a feature in my book. And then when I go up to 250, it starts to have a much more apparent flood. Um, easily use that, you know, for most things. And then if I go up to the full 1500 there, 
Um, it, it just blight, just blasts the landscape. And then there's a 3300. My camera keeps adjusting for that right away, but you can see it really makes a big difference. And I can just see, you know, just crystal clear detail. It's like daylight. Um, even though that wasn't in the spot, that's just the flood area. Anyway, with that, Doc out.